Hello everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In the last session, we completed the Corel Prison section of the game, and uh, we got through our fight with Dine, had a few additional sections that weren't in the original, with a new fight with Palmer, an escape on the car, and that was very good. And now we are back with Zack, and uh, we have ourselves a little note here, we're looking for Biggs, and uh, I guess we'll see where we find him. Uh, should we go look at Aerith's place first? Was that down here? If memory serves. Hell with it. Let's just do what we ah, want. No, never mind. We can't. Robin folks and stocking up on kill. Quit it. You're not fooling anyone. So, who can we ask? Who I can we ask? So Is anyone available to ask? Surely, surely someone. We don't gotta do homework, right? You maybe? No. Let's all dance. You are the guy with Aerith, right? I sure am. Why don't we all? Oh, hello. Hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Pray not. Well, damn. <laughs> that did not go how I hoped. Oh. Does this guy look familiar to you? Nope, sorry. Thanks for nothing, kid. Hey, take one of us next. Was that this guy? Down there was where the fucking Never seen box him. thing was, right? In the in remake, was it down here? You could like slide down here, and it was one of those box courses with all the where the, all the kids hang out. Whoa! The fuck was that? Shit! Think that's avalanche? Could be. And what is going on with the sky? These days. That's gotta be avalanche. What is going on with the sky, dude? Does it let us go this way? No. Hello, Biggs. How's it hanging, mate? Bigly Wiggly. Wiggly. Oh, we're not even going to get to see their conversation. That was like a five second section. <laughs> Pardon me. So, where are we bound this fine day? South. Far south. And what's there? Corel, that's what. Else death on it. Very well. So it is. Hold on to your hats. Chapter 9. The planet stirs. Hey, Robocat, you act all buddy buddy, but we don't know a thing about you. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. I'm a 9 to 5 nobody at a small shitless subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy pasting and forward of emails. Another Shinra lapdog. What? Cat? My mistake. But you lot are special. Properly special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now, this is a road trip. We should be bonded, not fighting. He's getting motion sick. Give up the ghost right here and now, that is. I won't let some stupid guard get the better of me. <laughs> Not before I punch that witch right in the mouth. That's it. I can't. Wait, just, just wait. We'll find somewhere to. Pull on. 
over. The shit's about to pop. Wait, Cassie, <laughs> not in the buggy. Not in the buggy. <laughs> Please, not in the buggy. We've got to be driving this thing for a while. Feeling any better? Ugh, leave me. Hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads. And driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! <laughs> when you don't know where life's leading... You should get yourself a reading! Ooh. Meow, 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 meow. Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um... Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait! Barrett, you mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? It's here, Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car. Let's go, go, go! <laughs> Couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. My, just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Interesting. Oh, I was thinking oh, we'd be going to Cosmo Canyon next, but I guess we're going to Gongaga. Obtain the buggy key fob. All right. Pour it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see. Michael. Kate Sith joined the party. There it is. There's our final new playable character. Obviously, we will be getting Vincent and Sid in this game at some point, but they will not be playable. The buggy is capable of traversing not only land, but shallow waters as well, and faster than the average chocobo at that. Press down to call the buggy to your current location. Roll over transmutation materials while riding to collect them automatically. That's nice. You've got steer, we've got accelerate, brake, reverse, and exit. Very simple stuff. Cool. Uh, new experiences at the Gold Saucer. The Gold Saucer is offering new experiences at some of its attractions. Your success in the Chocobo Cup means you can now compete in more Chocobo races. Musclehead Coliseum has also started offering six-person team bouts. Wait. Six-person team bouts as in you can take your entire team into battle? You're not limited to just three? That would be sick. That would be very cool. Huh. Interesting. Fast travel available. New quests available in Corel region. Party selection unlocked. So what was up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this way after smack bang in the middle of a place famous for, ah, you guessed it, the world's favorite bunga. Ooh. Mushrooms grow near a reactor. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe not the best idea. All right, however, you know what this means? It means we are out in the open world. Uh, so, before we head south, I guess, looks like we're heading down here. Before we do that, we have uh, a little bit of uh, exploration to do. Just a little bit, you know? Just a small amount of exploration. And by small amount, I mean many hours. <laughs> many, many hours of exploration to do. Wait, the Gold Saucer has a community notice board now as well? Huh. Oh, and there's more quests. Looks like there's more quests in here as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now, how does this thing turn? It turns okay. Meow. Now, can we just drive straight past enemies? Let's find out. Yes, it looks like we can. Interesting. Oh, it does take a while to get out the car. It does take a while to get out the car. That is a slow as fuck animation. Okay. 
Okay, well. Whoa! Okay, let's get the, uh. The old assess going. Too bad. Okay, landworms weak to ice. Let's exploit their weakness. Uh, Cactrot don't have fire weakness. Interesting. Hitting them with physical ATB commands will pressure them. Interesting. Okay, well, Triple Strike is probably the best for that then. That's what I used the first time, but that's just because they were weak. But I guess the Triple Strike is actually the way to go. Uh, if I can get fucking ATB. Triple Slash, rather. Nice. Come back, motherfucker. Aerith level 31, very nice. Up we go. Yoink. I spy a chocobo chick over on the left there. Proto relic will be in this uh, in this place. We've had Bex badasses. We've had Fort Condor, and now what will the third zone proto relic be? Yoink. Okay, it is just over there. So the question is, with how slow it is to get in and out of the car, I'm wondering if it's worth getting in and out of the car to travel short distances. What do we think? Because it is faster, but. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like it may not be worth getting in and out of the car to do shorter distances like this. Might just be worth sticking to the chocobo. This must be the sandstorm. Is this the proto relic thing? This is Gilgamesh. What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? I was just trying to get the station, man. Well the Chocobo station. That I may collect what is by rights mine. You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? Ah! A ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure. What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. The Gen uh -oh. Genji. Oh. This form, I can hold it no longer. Oh, 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 down I go. Bounce. 
found. Well, that was unexpected. I just wanted so to get the fucking Chocobo that? station, man. Oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you alright? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. You do that. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. Will do. Now, as I was saying, let's get this Chocobo station. Uh, oh, I was, I was like, where's the sign? It's always, it's always been on the left before now. This yeah. one's on the right. How dare they? How dare they change which side it's on? Swing. Lovely jubbly. All right, all right. Uh, okay, so if we want to go and do this, we do actually need the car for that. But we are so close to this proto relic, so let's go grab this first. Is it just in this house? Wait, what? Well, it's a uh, huh? It's a it's a cactor house. The signal is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a proto relic in the nearby reactor. Uh, you mean that thing? It's been altered, though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra. Whoever's responsible may be waiting within. Proceed with caution. A mysterious power blocks the way inside. Some sort of monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. Huh. Whoa. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Please do. Hmm. Interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? Literally just next to you? Like just just right there next to the door? Oh. That's it. That statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. Thanks, I'll just shove that up my ass. Ourselves worthy. I know you can do it. Who doesn't enjoy taking a cactor up the arse? Hold up to raise the cactor statue aloft, then follow the light it emits to locate its corresponding rock. Okay. Up on that hill? Right. Okay. Sure. Well... Let's go ahead and uh, go over the river and get the uh, the fiend over there, shall we? Choo choo! Nailed it. Look. Oh, hello. Sounds like he's still looking for the photo relic. We better find it first. Is that another Chocobo stop? It looks like it. Nice. We'll get that after this. Stagger, don't get stunned, and defeat all enemies. 
rare Spearhawk variant identified. Let's save Guidance Protocol. Okay, uh, don't get stunned. I guess we just avoid its attacks then. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it, which is fire. Alright. I was I was being thrown up in the air when it hit me, so there was nothing I could do. Come on, dude! It keeps throwing me up. One of them throws me up in the air, and then another one stuns me, and there's nothing you can do about it. This is very dumb. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare spearhawk variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Look closely. What appears to be a beak at first blush is in fact a sharp helix shaped bone protruding from the forehead. It's not for show. While most predatory birds use their talons to hunt, the spearhawk uses its horn. With one clean thrust, they can skewer their claws. Then slice and dice it with ease. Careful now. We don't want that beautiful face of yours to be pooped full of holes. No escape, it's on now. Now that's the spirit! Let's finish this. You've got this under control! We got it. Wow, no more playing. Bitch. You're out of luck. Battle objectives completed. I knew you had it in you. Way to go. That time they just literally never used the attack. <laughs> Seems very fair and good that you could just beat the objective through pure chance. That but they just don't use the attack. Cloud. Using nice. The data from your battles, <laughs> I've devised a new trial for the simulator. Oh good. Which I supervised. I think you'll find it to be a most fascinating scenario. So please do give it a try. Will do. Pretty sure you find fucking everything fascinating though, Chadley. Let's not kid ourselves. Is this going anywhere? Is this just a different way out to the same place? Or is this nothing? Is this just a dead end? Can we climb up here? God, it's so bright. We can climb up here, but not up here, it looks like. Oh, maybe. Sure. Oh. Wait, where'd the car go? Wasn't the car right here? Does the car just vanish if you don't go back to it quickly enough? I'm assuming that I can't lift this up whilst in the car. No. 
You can do it whilst on Chocobo, you can't do it whilst on the car. <laughs> that would have been quite funny, to be fair. That would have been quite funny. Ding! Nice. Alright. Uh, where to next? Nothing else over there, as far as we can tell. Oh, Snaps is out here. Oh, no, that we got the Snaps thing, and he's telling us to go out there, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's go here next. Did the car just vanish again? Bro. That's really annoying. Why does the car vanish after five seconds? Ah, okay, you can't just fly past everything. Interesting. I, I thought uh, I thought if you were going at top speed or whatever, you could just go past everything, but it seems like no. Oh my god, the car didn't disappear this time. They said it couldn't be done. So can I just like drive into rocks like this? No. I was hoping it would just like mantle the rock. But you do need you do need a decent uh, little ramp. What about over edges? Can I drive no, it won't let me drive over edges either. Oh, a little some some edges. That's the first time I've ever missed. No, I said I was never going to miss. I said I would never miss. Truly a sad day. Corel, a tale of decline. Coal was in high demand in the days of the Republic, and the wealth of Mount Corel drew miners from far and wide. Though the work was hard and dangerous, labourers banded together to overcome their difficulties, forming a close-knit community in the process. Alas, the advent of Mako saw the price of coal plummet, spelling disaster for the people of Corel. As they struggled to find a way forward, Shinra proposed the construction of a Mako reactor, and after much debate, the villagers accepted the offer. The offer. The reactor was constructed with astonishing haste, but just prior to being brought online, it was torn apart by an immense explosion, and has been left in ruins ever since. Sad times, sad times. Okay, so we've already got this as a place we can teleport to, the waypoint, so how about we jump back down here and go and get that. Wait, I just realized, it gave me the option to teleport as walk or buggy. So is the buggy only available here? I haven't actually tried calling the chocobo here, but I just assumed you could, but maybe you can't. Maybe the buggy is the only other option here, it's walk or buggy. Is that the, uh, maybe... Because obviously in the original you could drive the buggy all over the world map. So long as there wasn't water in the way. But that was like quite a large portion of the map. But maybe in this game you can only drive the buggy in this Corel Desert and that's it. That'd be a little disappointing. That does beg the question. How are they going to do... How are they going to do the airship in the third part? 
Because like the when it's when it's grounded, obviously you'll be able to go across only water bits, so that will make sense why it's very restricted there. But then in in part three, we'll have an airship, and we should be able to just fly over everything, everywhere, because there's no there is no restrictions in the sky, right? You can just fly wherever you want. So I wonder how they'll do that. If they will go us the airship everywhere, or but because it's like they're little zones, it's not actually a singular world. I wonder how that'll work as well. Hmm. Hmm. I have questions. I have questions. Um, speaking of item transmutation, can we do a Mega Potion yet? No! So many things that we cannot do. Ooh, we can do Supernatural Risk Guards though. Yes please. Exquisite Beast Hide. Completed it, mate. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Get that crafted going. Right. Oh, chocobo chick. Where's the next stop? Little dude. Down here, down here. See, so yeah, actually, if I try and call... Yeah, you can't call your Chocobo in this area. So it is buggy only in this area. Fair enough. The way it said it was faster than a Chocobo, I thought we had a choice, but we don't have a choice. <laughs> right. Uh, now, what is this entrance? Gold source of parking garage? Sure. What's in the gold source of parking garage? Oh, it's just like a way in? Okay. What? Why am I stuck? Hello? That was weird. Ba da bow bow wow. Okie dokie. Uh, I would quite like to uncover the map, you know? It's such a big map that it's like... I'm going to be driving past bits and leaving other bits greyed out, which is going to bug me. I think the, the thing was like up here, right? So how do we get up there? Oh, hello. It's on now. It's over there, okay. So it's right where I'm looking, so yeah, near enough. But how do we actually get up there is the question. I'm not going to get in the car for this. Because I don't know how quickly we'll be getting back out. We just need to figure out a way up this massive mountain. And unfortunately, we do not have Assassin's Creed climbing on our side. So <laughs> we have to just figure out a way. Is that another Proto Relic place? That looks like another of those Cactor... Oh, hello. It's, it's Tall Boy. Bye, mate. 
now that, it is up here, right? If now that we're on the other side, let me just double check. Yeah, it's pointing inside there. So, where the fuck is the way up? Am I blind? I'm not seeing anything remotely climbable looking. Anyone else seeing anything I'm missing? Song Bracer. Okay, one more treasure chest somewhere. doesn't explain how I get up here. I'm still not seeing a way. Am I missing an obvious path in through this fence at all? There's barbed wire, so there's no way it's going to let me like climb up and over the barbed wire, is there? Yeah, no. So how in the shit do I get up here? How... In the shitting fuck do I get up here? What am I missing? And then if you go around here, this is just back to where we started. We've done a full loop of the mountain. It has to be something to do with that. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, no. I thought I saw a yellow rock. Thought I saw a climbable yellow rock, but I did not. Okay, so th there's no way up anywhere else, right? We've been all around the mountain. It's just a straight rock face the entire way around. The only place that has anything different is right here. So this has to be the way in. Right? It has to be something to do with this building. What? Is there a grapple point somewhere I can jump to? What am I missing? I feel like I'm going crazy. How, how do I get in here? How do I get up the cliff? Am I missing? Maybe there's like some little fucking slip through bit I'm missing? Do I need to do another lap of the fucking mountain? Like that looks very flat. Is there anything to do with that? Does that rock face not look abnormally flat right there? But I don't think I can I can't climb up to it so God, this is annoying. No secret entrance anywhere. What about the other end of this rock? 
Is it possible I can get up this rock and then walk along over there? Maybe? Oh, hello. There's a fucking world intel tower up here. Didn't know that. Sure. Instantly attacked. Very cool. Weak to ice. I dodged. Moving on I feel like in the first area, every one of these towers had the thing at the bottom to click, and then since then, it's always been at the top. <laughs> We gotta get that. Of course I 50 50 the wrong way. Two more things and we'll be halfway through the zone. Right, now can I walk along here? Yes, yes, it looks like I can. Oh, I think I found the statue. <laughs> Look at that green glow. Okay, hallelujah, I think we're good. Different? It's still physical ATBs to hit. Okay. They're just different color, but they have the same. Everything else is the same? Not 1,000 needles. Fuck off with your 1,000 needles. I have been blessed. <laughs> um, what are you doing? I'm not doing. <laughs> Amazing. Oh man, that was hilarious. Hey, do you think there are any more of these amazing rocks out there? The pliability is most impressive. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I love these guys. The character moments in this game are so good. They're so good. 
it has to be said. Right, we can remove this, and then there's a fiend thing just over here. I guess we need to heal up. Uh, I can't believe we still don't have a magnify material, man. That's crazy. The fucking these things. Precious stagger time limit. The classic. Oh, they're different ones I need to assess. Oh, I gotta do it when they're out. God damn it. Well, there's the pressure. Well, I'm gonna take the opportunity to get the stagger. Okay, now we just need to beat them. Oh, fuck me. Nice. Just inflict enough damage after it emerges from the sand, all right. Ready? Going all out. Wait, we have a synergy ability? No. Fuck you! Over a minute left. Though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. Easy. I so much prefer those ones where it's just pressure, stagger, and time limit than the ones where it's some annoying luck based thing like don't get fucking stunned by a stun attack. And the way to do that is to simply not have them do it. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool. I have so much control over whether or not they choose to use this one specific attack. Really glad about that. Okay, that is the whole of this raised bit done, by the looks of it. Anything to find up in this little... Don't think we can actually get into this bit, can we? Can you really not jump these railings, motherfucker? Come on. Let's be for real right now. Cloud can jump those railings. He has it within him. I believe in you, Cloud. Alright, let's just fucking TP. Not gonna get the car for this journey. Take longer to get in and out of it. Now make the pose, Cloud. Oh, he doesn't have to make the clap, make the pose to get the door to open. Boo! He should have to make the pose. Boo! Oh, I couldn't even see what was in here. It's so dark. What is this place? Hello. Anything hidden around the side? No. I guess we just got to kill you, huh? Oh, they're adorable. So what are they saying? You know? To them, the proto-relic is the treasure of the sands, it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Moreover, they are duty-bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Wonder who that is. Me. Hmm. No, it's obviously know, Gilgamesh. It simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? What the fuck? Whoa, oh my god. No it's that. the gold saucer guy. Kid G. Kid G. It's the gold from saucer the guy. I look from the fucking towers. hologram. It's a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait. You can talk? <sighs> it's 
speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. <laughs> he does have a point. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. I can't believe the guy is real from the fucking story in the Gold Saucer. This you is think you've got wild. What it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. Where'd they all come from? And now your trial. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Yuffie? Who? Oh, me? Oh boy. Yuffie's trial. Test your might against an army of spiny speedsters in this race against the clock. Defeat as many cactus as possible within the time limit. Each one will add to your score. Reach the target before the time runs out. Cactus come in all shapes, sizes, and point values, with some even boasting special properties. Gladiators are more susceptible to physical, while magitors are more vulnerable to magic. Okay. We need 1,000 points to beat it. But we'd like to get 1,500 for the miss, the Mega Potion stuff, and 2,500 is the best, but we'll only need to get 1,000. 1,000 to pass, 1.5, 2.5 for bonus. Where are more? Over here. They're Magitors. What the fuck is that one? like magical heavy damage right I need magical heavy damage but it just kind of doesn't exist I do. I wasn't looking at the score. Oh my god, I only got the first one? How the fuck do you get so much more than that? 
You need 2,500 for the top score? Where the fuck do you find an extra 1,200 points from? That's literally almost double the score I got. How the fuck do you do that? Oh well, whatever. Never doing that. <laughs> Never doing that. It was fun enough, but like, I'm not gonna fucking grind that to try and double my <laughs> score. That's insane. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You gonna hand over the proto relic then? Huh? Never heard anyone call it that before. But I'm a goblin of my word. So here. And so, as promised, your piece of the prize. Peace? You want the whole thing, Shrimp? Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the other bits. Put it together yourself. Shocker. Right. So what you're saying is... That more trials await. And that yours truly will be your guy. See you next time. Adios, amigo. What an unexpected and exhilarating turn of events. <laughs> an ancient treasure guarded by an army of cactuars and a goblin. Not to mention the mysterious goblin giant of nuts. and the Book of Kings. Huh. Increase in body temperature detected. I believe I'm rather excited. <laughs> I've already picked up another signal from the Proto Relic. Or rather, the Treasure of the Sands. Head for Modular Reactor 2. Say. How many of these mini reactors are there? Four. Anyway? Several. These modular Mako reactors were erected throughout the desert as a means of generating and supplying power to the gold saucer. To avoid accelerating the desertification of the region, the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? Crazy, right? In any case, the reactors it's a visualization of capitalism. And within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly doubt Shimmer could produce anything half as resilient as this combination of sand and cactuar nectar. Blah. There we go, halfway through the area. Where's the next one at? It do be over there, all right. I can talk to him to do it again. Yeah, no thanks. No thank you. I wonder who the other trials will be. The final one will be Cloud, I would assume. But Yuffie's the only one that like is specializing in both physical and magical, so I think they'll have to be kind of different. They won't all just be able to be like that one. Curious. Okay, so that is pretty much all of this top section cleared. So, let's head over to the next summon point, shall we? 